Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So first of all, my apologies for posting this video so late, but there is still plenty of time. Uh, you have today. Today is the fourth, fifth, and sixth. So you have three days to make the most of it. And uh, so yeah, the purpose of this video is to basically talk about the topics that have been tested. Now a disclaimer: this is by no means a guest paper. By no means base your entire preparation on the basis of the topics that I'm going to talk about. This is just something that uh, I've noticed, okay? And I think you, anyone can figure this out. You don't have to be like too experienced to figure this out. That the topics that are tested in one paper, they're usually not tested in the in the other paper, okay? So for example, let's say if um, vectors, okay, just an example, is test or already tested in one paper, could it, it could be paper one of O levels could be paper two of IGCSE, then chances are it will not be tested in the other paper of all levels in IGCSE, okay? So I've done that, I've basically, as soon as the exam ended, you know, that I posted a video asking you guys uh, how it went and asking you guys to tell me exactly all the topics that were tested. So you guys were very generous with your responses. I got over a thousand comments uh, in the videos combined. And uh, with the help of that, my team and I have basically done this um, extraction and we've made a list of all the topics that have not been tested. Now, once again, please, keep in mind that this is for variant 2 okay so for O levels uh, paper 12 so all the topics that are not tested in O levels which is 4024 paper 12 and all the topics not tested in IGCSE which is paper 22 okay so that means these are the topics that you can expect in paper 2 of O levels and paper 4 of uh, IGCSE and remember we're talking about variant 2 so keep that in mind okay so let's go over them one by one now, these are some common topics, common topics in the sense that they were not tested in either O-Levels or IGCSE. And here I made a co column for O-Levels only and here another column for IGCSE only. Now, the first one, graphical solutions to equations. Now, this, um, a bit of a disclaimer, there was a topic, there was a question in IGCSE where you had to sort of uh, make a, you had to find out the equation of asymptotes, you had to find out, uh, you had to draw. Uh, lines for a certain number of uh, intersections, stuff like that. But because this topic is so extensive, this involves uh, curve sketching as well. So I'm expecting a certain part of it to be tested in O-Levels. In O-Levels, there was no such question. And I'm expecting a certain part of it to be in IGCSC as well. Once again, this is not a final list. This is not by any means an exhaustive list that this is all there is going to be. There's obviously, uh, maybe there's a chance that I've missed a topic. So feel free to add in the comment section. So this is just to sort of uh, help you out a little bit. And then trigonometry. So trigonometry mainly is a topic which is tested in the calculator paper. So, you know, you can expect that in the coming paper, which is paper four of IGCSC and paper two of O levels. And then exponential growth and decay not tested. Once again, for this, you need a calculator. So you can expect this in paper two and paper four of O levels and IGCSE respectively. Now functions, functions, although is something that can be tested in the non-calculator paper, but it hasn't been tested. So you can expect it. And you know, there are some changes in the syllabus. Domain and range is something that has been added. And uh, composite function has also been added. I have a stream on it. You can check it out. You can learn the entire topic from scratch. Sets and Venn diagram. Again, no sign of sets and Venn diagram in O levels or, or IGCSE limits of accuracy. This is basically upper bound, lower bound, no sign of it in all levels or IGCSC. Similar objects. Now, similar objects could be like similar triangles, volume, uh, similar triangles or similar shapes, 3D shapes, no sign of it on all levels in IGCSC. So I think there was a question in vectors where you maybe had to use this concept, but uh, there hasn't been a standalone question on similar triangles. So expect this to come in the following paper. Then statistics. Now, statistics was there, but these are the components of statistics that haven't been tested. Scatter plot hasn't been tested, pie chart hasn't been tested, mean median mode of group data, that hasn't been tested. So you can expect a bit of, um, uh, you can expect these diagrams. And you know, there's also bar chart, which is also, which is fairly easy. You know, it's usually tested in the non calculator paper, but you can expect it. And then maybe some word problems of mean median mode, you never know. So because once again, statistics like trigonometry is so vast and like graphs of functions, it's so extensive that even if certain concepts are tested, there may be a chance that the remaining concepts will be tested in the other paper. Then graphs of inequality is not tested in all levels in IGCSE. This is where you find the equation and you either shade, uh, shade the region or you define the shaded region. Polygons, once again, could be tested in all levels or IGCSE. Now, everyday math. Now, I do understand that there was a certain question of everyday math where you maybe had to find out the percentage change or maybe had to find out the price before change or after change, stuff like that. But once again, so extensive, like there, there could be a topic, or there could be a question on interest, there could be a question on currency conversion, which you can expect in the coming paper. And also mensuration. Now, 
Okay, so I've realized that I've written mensuration here and here also. So I'll, I'll get to this, okay? So mensuration is something that has been tested in both the papers, but also hasn't. So we'll talk about that. Now let's come to O-levels only. When it comes to O-levels, standard form hasn't been tested. Okay, I think standard form was tested in IGCSE, but it's not tested in O-levels. Circle properties, so I do believe there was a question on angle properties, but not on circle properties, so you can expect that in paper two. Number patterns, once again, uh, hasn't been tested, so you can expect that. Symmetry, now this could be rotational symmetry, this could be reflectional symmetry, you can expect either of the two in the coming paper. Achha, now. There was a question of mensuration, but it was 2D mensuration. So you can expect 3D mensuration to be tested in paper two. Okay, paper two of O levels, keep that in mind. And then variations. This is when the question says that so-and-so is directly proportional to so. Uh, find the value of this when you know this is equal to that. So th these are all the topics that weren't tested in O levels. So these are basically O level exclusive only. Then graphs and practical situations, this was tested in O-levels, but it wasn't tested in IGCSE, so you can expect that. Simultaneous equations could be both linear, could be both uh, one linear, one quadratic, so you can expect that. It's easy, but you know, it's, it's something that to look out for. Trigonometric graphs, now there were questions related to exact trigonometric values, there were questions related to, I think, solving trigonometric equations, or maybe I'm mixing up the two. Once again, I haven't seen the paper, this is all the feedback that you guys gave that I sort of uh, had to sift through and come up with this. So you can expect that. You, once again, if it comes in paper two, or if it comes in a calculator paper, it's going to be very easy, but something to watch out for nonetheless. Coordinate geometry, so I believe coordinate geometry hasn't been tested in IGCSE, so you can expect that. Now in IGCSE, there was a question in mensuration where you had to find out maybe the curved surface area. I think it was a hemisphere and a cylinder. So since that was 3D, that means you can expect a bit of 2D mensuration in IGCSE, okay? so. This is this was basically just to sort of help you out so you don't end up practicing questions uh, off the topic that have been tested already. There will inshallah be mock exams and I'll try and make sure to keep the mock exams from the topics that are or haven't been tested. Once again, not guest paper by any means, okay? If you've been following my channel, you know I don't do guest papers of any sort. But yes, when you have two papers of the same subject, you can kind of expect what to, you, you kind of know what to expect in the following paper. So, and, and you know, you have a lot of data to support that. So yeah, I hope this helps. I hope you guys are making the most of the time that's left and just stay focused. Don't lose your focus. Take care of your health, take care of your sleep. So, because there's, it's, it's only going to get difficult from here. It's an uphill journey for a while. And I wish you guys the best of, luck. best of luck. My team and I are here to make this journey as easy as possible for you to help you out in the best way possible. So do remember all of us in your prayers. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one, inshallah. Until then, take care. Allah Hafiz. Oh, and by the way, actually, no, before I go, if there's anything that you want to add or subtract, feel free to do that. We will do that in the comment section. And uh, you know, I'll be waiting to hear from you. So that's this. this is now for real it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Allah Hafiz.